When it comes to automotive engineering, the male folks are everywhere. But that scenario is gradually changing now with ladies coming into the fray. Olatokumbo Adegoju, Nyaka Egbum and Ifetayo Ogundele have the stories of why they dared to venture into what is considered a domain for men. Actually, I wanted to be a medical doctor. Maybe because we weren't really open, open to the way things are in the career world. But when I got to the university, I studied agricultural engineering. And studying agricultural engineering, I realized that there, there is more to mechanics, to engines and assembling and coupling and the likes. So after st having my degree certificate, I got interested in automobiles. I came for the training here and after the training, I didn't want to leave. I can do suspension repairs, I can do repairs, few repairs on the engine. Though I have not really learned how to overhaul an engine, but at least I can do tune-up on the engine. Tune-up meaning changing spark plugs, doing lubrication service, changing the, um, doing the throttle body service and some other things. But suspension repairs, a number of suspension repairs I can do, like changing of shock absorbers, the lower arm, the brake parts, linkages, bring it on. I can do that. <laughs> for Nyaka, taking charge of electrical faults in vehicles for over four years has been driven by passion. When I finished my secondary school, I was like looking for what to do, but there's no money to further my education. So my siblings were like, I should go and learn how to do hairdressing. I said no, I want to do a technical job. I learned to work um, like three years, but now I'm a full staff. My job has to do with electrical parts of the car. If the car is not starting, first thing to do is to check the fuse, check other electrical parts like the wirings and all that. By the time of doing that, you find out that one of those things are bad. Maybe the fuse is bad, that's why the car is not starting or there's a short to power or ground somewhere. When people see me, they'll be like, why do you like doing this job? I said, I just have passion of cars, you know. So they're like, is it not a dirty job and this is a men's job? I said, no, it's not really meant for men. I think the job is for everybody, both men and women. It just depends on you, what you want. Jack, Jack. My name is Ogundele Ifetayo Dakaz. Um, I just finished my national diploma actually, and I finished from Kirby State Polytechnic. I'm here for my one year IT. So it all started when I wanted to get admission into the Polytechnic. I chose the mechanical engineering as a course myself, and I was given mechanical engineering. Way that my mom wanted me to be a doctor because she, I think she loves someone in white or something. It's just that uh, when I'm watching movies, when someone drives cars, I'm like, wow, look at this car. So I was like, all this car, moving car, how is it made? Like, what, what's that, what's that inside the car? I love cars. Like, I love cars. Everybody comes with black cars. <laughs> like. The popular saying, what a man can do, a woman can do, certainly applies to these ladies. A few years ago, maybe they are not much, but I think now ladies are not, are not smiling though. Everybody wants to work, even if it's a man job, it doesn't matter. So far, it's bringing out cash or something. So a lot of girls want to, but I think maybe some people are still wondering like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil my nails, I don't want to. It doesn't matter. I, I'm, I really like when someone like, I saw you in the workshop, are you the one? Are you really this? I, I, do you dress like this? I'm like, of course, I still love to paint my nails, fix my hair. There are things go to judge, like we look good, so you can actually do both. But Olato Kumbo points out that there is one area most lady mechanics try to avoid. The fact that you are a female in a man's world, it makes you very, it makes it very interesting. Uh, people see you and you're a mechanic. Why? What are you doing there? Well, the challenges are, yeah, you know, we have some heavy lifting you have to do here. And truly, they say what a man can do, a woman can do better, and not this kind of work. 
<laughs> because there are some liftings that you need the guys to do. Yeah, you want to lift an engine, you have to let the guys do that. With support from family and friends, she encourages more women to come on board. I will encourage any lady out there that is interested in this job to do, because people see mechanics, okay, mechanics generally, like, are they are dirty people, they, they don't take care of themselves. Really, having to do this job, it's not, it's not really about getting dirty, it's about you knowing what you want and getting it done. When I close here today, I change, clean up, and when you see me outside, you wouldn't even know that was what I just did. You wouldn't even know I touched engine oil or anything. So it's about your passion, your interest. One thing is that anything you want to do in life, if you are devoted to it, you won't have a problem. So I encourage anybody out there that wants to do this kind of job, very, very lucrative, because there are some jobs you just do, and you just get paid, and you wonder, this little thing I just did, so it's not, you don't even have to do any heavy lifting before you get paid. So there are some things that a lady can do on her own without the assistance of a man. And it is very, very, it's paying the bills.